Hello, this is Katie. I'm making this video to share a testimony of an experience that I just had seeking therapy as a human trafficking survivor from a women's center in my area. I believe that I may have just been activated by people who may be part of the perpetrator network of trauma-based mind control handlers that I was trafficked by. So I'm going to give a testimony of what I just experienced. I'm very upset and activated and after this I'm going to go inside and try and figure out what's going on but I just want to make this video in case I dissociate too hard from this experience and can't get it out there later. So I found this agency last week on Sunday, Easter Sunday of all days, um, looking online for meetup groups in my area. It's kind of weird I happened across this women's center this way and I saw that they offered therapy for survivors of human trafficking specifically, um, as well as for domestic violence and sexual assault in general. I didn't know that such an organization existed in my area. I live in a small town that's near a city, but there isn't a lot of stuff like this, um, well, not a lot of support like that. So I didn't know this existed, and I was very excited. But of course, apprehensive because I have had such bad experiences in the past with things like this. I called them and left them a message on Sunday. Got a call back Monday, but wasn't able to follow through with it until today. I called them back just a few minutes ago. And after talking to three people, the first of whom was confused as to what services they actually offered for tra trafficking survivors, um, the second of whom was simply a gatekeeper to talk to a third person who seemed to actually know what they were talking about, someone at the main office in the city near where I live. And that lady was very friendly, as they all were, and said that they had a new program for survivors of human trafficking. And so she wasn't sure exactly what to do. She was trying to think about what to do. She decided that she would transfer my call to the therapist who oversaw the other therapists who offered therapy for the human trafficking survivors as part of this thing. And I thought that was kind of weird because normally these agencies don't transfer my call to the therapist. They would give me the referral and then I would call them on my own time. That's how it usually goes. I didn't think too much of it. Up to that point, the only real trigger had been that, that I could identify had been the uh, Muzak that was on the hold line between the second and third women that I talked to. I didn't identify it as actual programming, but just triggering but I think I got dissociated listening to it. The weirdness really starts with the person I was transferred to when my call was transferred to the therapist. The phone rang a few times, maybe three times, I think, something like that. And a lady answered the phone. She simply said hello in a very loud and rude tone of voice. She didn't identify herself. She wanted to know who was calling. She was very abrasive and she sounded very suspicious of me. I thought maybe it was a wrong number or I had gotten a really, you know, quack of a therapist. I asked her if she was the name of the therapist that I had been given, which actually happened to only be the first name, which was also odd. She said simply no, she was not that person. The whole thing was very unprofessional and strange. When I said that I was calling for therapy, she said, okay, hold on, or something like that, I don't remember, something like that, and transferred my call to the therapist's voicemail. But it didn't directly go to the therapist's voicemail. It first went to a holding um, tape, right? You know, a tape that they play when you get put on hold, like the music I talked about, but this wasn't your ordinary tape. This was, I'm so triggered even trying to talk about it and describe it. It was a voice, I think of a woman, 
going on and on about Disney, advertising for Disney. The first part of it, for a few seconds, I blacked out and I have no idea what I heard. But then I came to partway through listening to someone advertising for Disney and they kept repeating words about, I think, do you want to be more happy or do you want to get more happy? Like, it's all scrambled for me now. I don't think they said happier. They just kept saying something about happy. Do you want to be happy? Um, you know, do, and then I don't know what they were telling me to do. Like, it's all fragmentary. My brain split it up, which is common for me um, when I get activated um, in my programming. When I try to recall it, it comes out fragmentarily. Um, and there was one moment that I do recall clearly where a voice in the tape said to wait for my cue. Call. And then I don't know what it said after that. And I think there were layers of sound going on in addition to the, um, you know, while it was saying to wait for my cue and then call something, something, I don't know. I was extremely triggered and frightened and I recognized this as probably monarch programming and I tried to hang up the phone, but my dissociative system would not let me. They kept me frozen to the spot and I left a voicemail for the therapist as her voicemail came up and I don't remember all of what it said, but she identified at least her first name. The last name is scrambled now. I can't remember what it is. I couldn't identify her, meaning that I can't look her up and find out who this person is. She did identify herself as being part of this women's center. I don't know what else was said. My brain was processing things in multi-layers. I can see that the programming structures were interpreting what I was hearing as in they were organizing the information dissociatively. I can't access all of it at once. Um, and then I went ahead and very uneasily left a voicemail identifying myself and why I was calling, gave my number. I will not be contacting this person again that I can recall. Well, I don't know why I just said that I can recall. Um, I glitched there. I'm very triggered. I will not be contacting that person again that will not be my intention. Um, I will be working extensively with my dissociative systems to find out which alter inside, which systems made us leave the voicemail, what happened, and I'm hoping to God that I do not follow through on whatever directives it appears that I was given. If I was instructed to call somebody, the phrase to, to wait for my cue and to call a phone number with Disney advertisements and asking me if I want to get happy is not very um, good sign for me. So I'm going to be working on this. Um, I have been extensively deprogramming myself for, for years now, but as you can see, I'm very young. I'm 21, and this has not actually been that long that I've been free.